Arch Linux, the distro that breaks you. Before it builds you, they say Kali is for hackers. They lied. You install Kali and boom, you've got tools. Metasploit, Nmap, Wireshark. You feel powerful, dangerous, but deep down, something feels wrong. You're not earning anything. You're just clicking shiny buttons. It's like buying a katana and using it to cut cake. Then you hear whispers, Arch Linux, and your life changes forever. Installing Arch isn't downloading an ISO and clicking next. Nope. It's like building a car from spare parts while blindfolded during a thunderstorm with a voice in your head saying, read the wiki, bro. Welcome to Arch. No GUI, no pre-installed tools, no mercy, just a black screen, a terminal, and your suffering. If Kaylee is a toolkit, Arch is the forge. It doesn't give you weapons. It teaches you how to build them from source code with tears and blood. At first, it breaks you. It laughs at you. Your Wi-Fi won't work. Your audio dies. Your screen tears. Your keyboard in another language. And just when you fix it, you update and boom, it breaks again. But here's the twist. You survive. And something happens. You start understanding Linux really understanding it. You learn how packages work with Pac-Man. You customize your system like a hacker customizes payloads. You script your environment from scratch. Every tool you install, you choose. Every error you fix, you learn. Every problem becomes a lesson in system control. Arch doesn't make hacking easier. It makes you harder to kill. You want to run exploits? You build your environment. You want to live anonymously? You craft your routing chain. VPN over Tor over proxy chains all sandboxed. You want a lean system with zero bloat? Arch gives you a naked machine and says, dress it how you like, King. And unlike Kaylee, which holds your hand and says, here's your pre-installed toys, Arch throws you in a pit and says, survive. That's why real hackers respect Arch. Because when you're running Arch, you didn't just install Linux. You became it. It's not dopamine. It's not flashy GUI. It's pain, sweat, manual config files, and compiling your own damn drivers. But once it clicks, once you own it, you're not just another script kitty. You're root. You're the architect. You built this system from zero, and now it obeys your every keystroke. So yeah, Arch Linux will destroy your sanity, but in the ashes, a hacker is born. And that, my friend, is how Arch fucks you up beautifully. Once your Arch system is breathing, booting, and finally obeying your fingers, the real game begins, loading it with tools. But unlike Kaylee, where everything comes pre-installed like a kitty meal, Arch makes you hunt, select, and understand every single tool you install. There's no overwhelming folder called Top 10 Tools. No crutches, just a blank machine and your will to shape it. Take Nmap, for example. In Kaylee, you run it because it's there. On Arch, you install it, configure it, and learn its guts. You begin to appreciate how network mapping works under the hood, why timing matters, and how custom scripts can expose hidden weaknesses. It's not just scanning, it's surveillance with surgical control. Then there's Metasploit. In Kali, it's already bloated, sometimes outdated, always heavy. On Arch, it's lean, clean, and dangerously sharp. You install the exact version you need, connect it to a database you chose, and build payloads that actually fit your environment. Not some bloated one size fits all binary. You don't just run exploits, you engineer attacks. Wireshark hits different too. In Kali, it opens with a click. In Arch, you set it up to run exactly how you want, maybe headless with T-Shark or with capabilities set so you don't need root to capture traffic. And because you chose the install path, you know what it's capturing, how it filters, where it stores. You're not just watching packets, you're stalking data in real time, invisibly. BetterCap is another beast. On Kali, it's there often outdated or misconfigured. On Arch, you bring it in fresh from the AUR or GitHub, set it up modularly, and run it like a proper man-in-the-middle ninja. It's not about turning on spoofing. It's about building custom flows. DNS spoofing here, credential stealing there, injecting code silently without ever opening a browser. On Arch, you're not just attacking, you're orchestrating. And let's talk about John the Ripper. In Kaylee, it's installed, but slow. Generic. On Arch, you build it with OpenCL or CUDA support. Connected to your hardware, optimized for your hash types. You customize your cracking sessions, pipe in custom word lists you generated yourself, and push it to its limits. Even Aircrack NG, the holy grail of Wi-Fi attacks, feels different. In Kali, it's pre-packed and ready, but also predictable. On Arch, you control exactly how it runs, when to kill processes, how to manage your interfaces. You don't just grab handshakes. You understand the signal flow, the hardware control, the raw packet dance behind it. You feel every part of the attack chain. That's the Arch difference. Kali gives you tools. Arch gives you understanding. Kali gives you a box of gear someone else built. Arch makes you forge your own weapons from scratch. You break things, 
rebuild them, recompile drivers, patch scripts, write wrappers, set permissions, adjust systemed units. Every error becomes a lesson. Every success feels earned. And that's what makes Arch so terrifyingly effective. Arch Linux teaches you patience. It teaches you pain. But in the end, it gives you the most important tool of all, complete mastery over your machine. And once you have that, no tool, no exploit, no system is ever out of your reach. So yeah, Arch Linux will mess you up. It'll frustrate you. It'll break your system, your confidence, and maybe even your spirit. At first, you'll stare at black screens, dependency errors, broken configs, and wonder if you made a mistake. But keep going, because that pain, that confusion, that's not failure. It's transformation. You're not just installing Linux. You're building yourself. Because the truth is, anyone can download an exploit, but only a real hacker can build their own environment from nothing, break it, rebuild it, and dominate it. That's what Arch teaches you, not just how to hack machines, but how to own the process, every single part of it. So if you're watching this wondering, is it worth it? Let me tell you, if you want fast, pretty, and easy, go use Kali. If you want total control, full understanding, an actual hacker mindset. Arch is where the real ones go. And once it clicks, once the system bends to your will, you'll never go back. Because you didn't just survive Arch Linux, you became the architect. This is more than an OS, because your system is your reflection. If that hit you, like it, share it, and subscribe to Hackers Arsenal. Drop a comment below. What's the worst thing Arch ever did to you? And what did it teach you? I'll see you in the next one.